Now, over the years, much, much too much, has been made of my ability to entertain with a bit of witty verse. I would be lying to you if I told you that I hadn't considered writing these remarks as a poem. But when Dan told me that he thought that the tone of our speeches should be serious, I decided against it. If any of my die-hard fans are out there, I ho hope I haven't disappointed you too much. Well, if you insist. <laughs> Perhaps just a few verses are in order. <laughs> I bet St. John de Matha himself is in the vicinity as we celebrate tonight a very different sort of trinity. Neil Murphy, Bill Clark, and Dan McMahon have totaled 77 years in Damatha land. You may not view these threes, these three, as ones to be sainted, but who among us lives lives completely untainted? Take Neil Murphy. No, I mean it. Take it, please. <laughs> Although he does teach math with the greatest of ease, he's helped many students through geometry and trig, and unlike Bill Clark, he doesn't need to wear a wig. <laughs> Writing so many proofs on the board, Neil's hand gets hot, and he's even been known to make an occasional basketball shot. As for Daniel McMahon, we're just glad he's alive for the Convocation Center's construction he's managed to survive. He's led us for a decade with a cool, steady hand, and I suspect he's got the second one already planned. Dan's intellectual prowess is a constant bright light, and it remains to be seen which authors he'll quote tonight. Now Bill Clark's time at the podium is just about done, and he hopes he's provided you with a little extra fun. But now, the muse of poetry has just taken flight. All that's left is for me to wish you a fond good night. <laughs>